session. We are here with you with the launch of the 13th week. And today, I would like to let you know that week 13 is going to be taught, discussed by a well-known professor, head of the department, management studies, IIT Roorkee, Professor Rajat Agrawal. He'll be dealing with the empirical studies. Unlike the other weeks in which you might have got the essence that uh, we are not very much focusing on the you know humanities and management and other fields. This particular week deals with the empirical studies which are taken by management students and various other stakeholders of uh, social sciences for their field-based research and all that. So you'll be getting all the essence of the all kinds of research, specifically the field studies, which we are going to discuss, Professor Rajat Agrawal is going to discuss in this week and the next week also. If you have any queries, please do let me know. First of all, this, uh, this live interaction is meant for the healthy interaction which whatever we have learned, if you are having any query, please let me know. Me and my team will try to address the uh, problem or the query. Hello. Friends, yes, please. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Ha, sir, I have one query. Uh, yeah, when please. we are considering uh, UGC care journals for our publication, some of the journals are listed in the UGC care, but they are also predatory journals. So uh, like how to identify when we want to publish because the same journal, which is predatory is also in the UGC care list. So uh, what happens that, uh, you know, the, when the actually technically we cannot say any journal in the predatory journal as a predatory journal if it is there in UGC care list, technically, okay, uh, mm -hmm. theoretically. But as I have mentioned in earlier instances also, that we must focus on the category two journals, you know, uh, group two journals, rather than the group one journals, which are exclusively, uh, you know, approved by, recommended by the universities, IQSCs, and approved by the uh, UGC care. We should go for the group two, which are indexed in the reputed indexing agencies like Web of Science and others, uh, Science Citation Index and other indexing agencies. Because you are also true in, in the sense that the journals which are predatory, somehow they manage to be there in the UGC care, but you will see that their fate, that within six months, seven months, they may be kicked out from that particular list. So that list is dynamic, as you know very well. Even in the group two list, if you say, it might not be possible that a journal is continually there in that indexing. Some of the journals are kicked out even from the... Uh, indexing agencies list like Scopus list or the uh, master journal list or web of science list. But 
they are quite stable in rep in rim you know in maintaining their indexing in their indexing agency so i recommend only the group 2 journals as the priority for your publications rather than the group 1 journal i'm not saying that there are all journals which uh, all journals in the group 1 are uh, you know predatory or of low standard no it is not true there are very very good journals even the group 1 journals um, which are from reputed institutions agencies or societies and some of them are around 50 years 75 years or even the 100 years old also so we just have to take care of the things and depending upon our requirement as i earlier mentioned that whether you want to go for the impact whether you want you want to go for the you know speedy publication or you want to have a good reach you should decide on these three factors for publishing or for uh, you know finalizing your manuscript or, for, or finalizing a journal for communicating your manuscript got it okay so i think uh, you might have got your answer if any query is there please do let me know uh, i'll be happy to uh, in answering secondly before uh, discussing any further point i would like to request you that please do register for the exam 19th april is the last date of ex uh, exam registration even if as i mentioned you it is quite uh, it is quite convenient to get the certificate to complete this online course if you have given even a uh, you know sizable or feasible or you can say practical uh, learning experience if you have got you can easily go through the examination process only even if you haven't completed even a single assignment do start doing this at the today itself the last date is 5th of may we are only going to take a very few top scored assignments for the internal scores so you will be getting good marks in the internal also and that's why your chances of clearing the examination by securing the 40% internal as well as the 40% external you will be easily getting the uh, certification or going to pass the examination so i humbly request that please do register if you have learned go for the registration only 50 mcqs are going to be there in the examination so i think it is going to be quite convenient to you and you will be doing justice to your time whatever you have devoted to this course what is the benefit of the course certificate uh, yeah i got the so certificate is as for the students researchers research scholars it is going to be a vital part of your uh, you know cv because if you are applying for some uh, research positions all that if you are showing that i have done this particular course obviously you, your cv will be having the uh, weightage over the others maybe but as i earlier mentioned that the success of this course depends on the on you only whether you are practicing whatever you have learned honestly or not the success will be yours if you are practicing it honestly okay uh and uh general guidelines and framework do's and don'ts strategy for uh writing wisely without spending much time on review perspective opinions systematic review and matters general guide is a framework of do's and don'ts yes we have already mentioned the do's and don'ts uh, if you might be seeing the you might have gone through the you know uh the research article module and the review article module thesis writing various aspects have been quickly mentioned we would also like to add some more aspects to you soon okay uh and uh, moreover we will be adding more resources if you have skipped going through the webinar recordings which is in a different you know unit 
please see that we have also added some new recordings of live lectures which we are performing in the previous various previous cycles just i want to mention that please uh, skip or ignore the dates because uh, in those recordings which are recorded for the previous cycles because the dates are relevant to their uh, particular cycle okay which were for for earlier years previous years got it and uh, examination center preference you will you will be uh, asked when you will be filling up the examination form i think three choices are asked three or four maybe uh, choices are asked and preferably the first choice is given until unless uh, there are less than 10 students or 20 students whatever the criteria may be uh, if it is not there in the choice one of your center then only the choice two will be given to you otherwise in most of the instances choice one given by you uh, is given as a examination center to all the candidates okay uh so maruti you might have got your answer dr manoj you might have got your got your answers and we will try to uh, recently uh, we i have also shared in the telegram group uh, the some uh, exhaustive list of bentham journals and their uh, you know uh, impact factor and other things i'll also uh, put that particular document also in the course so that you all can access and uh, yeah sir it's me there to okay those who want to unmute yeah dr suresh limkar you want to ask anything nt website sir i have registered as a new candidate on nt website even i have received application number on my email id when i try to log in through this application uh number and also email id getting an error no such application number or password please do write to nta and uh, when you are writing the uh, writing to the nta please do a copy to me i think uh, uh, i would like to help you in that particular matter okay dr suresh uh, yeah and if anyone is unable to unmute uh, for particular reason maybe uh, on from their uh, part please open up your uh, video just and uh, i will catch you up and on you yeah please bole good afternoon sir good afternoon yes sir myself vyasan agarwal sir actually i just want to ask you one thing sir mm -hmm. uh, i uh, want to enroll in the examination sir but when i try to enroll in the on the website na sir i am unable to upload the photo sir photo there will be there will be the issue of size uh please uh, do see that it is uh, required size and weight is there or not if it is more than that particular weight or the size it won't take up okay please sir, do I see the guidelines it. sir i uh, completely follow the guidelines and i completely uh, manage the size manage the pixel size manage the 132 to 170 is the size given and the minimum is 2 kb maximum is 30 kb all the specifications i followed but but still sir, i am unable to upload the photo i already mailed you regarding the matter sir uh, when you have mailed yesterday sir Yes, sir. Okay, I'll see. I'll check it out because uh, uh, you also write to the NTA. Uh, basically, the I NTA is the note. Okay. Oh. Uh, hmm. I will. I will try to. I will try to resolve it. Uh, but in general, uh, the issues. I think uh, in the Telegram group you are there. The same issue was uh, asked by someone, and uh, if you haven't asked it, uh, and it was resolved by some other peer learner also that uh, there is a. Uh, but if even. despite of following the all the guidelines if it is not being uploaded i will uh, take up the matter don't worry okay sir uh, can i can i can i get your contact Hello, number please sir huh? yeah I, i i will give don't worry okay 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 and you sir, just I, mail I, me i will i will reply you in the email my email okay my email is smltajayar@gmail.com okay. okay simply my surname please. then first name in the gmail okay so okay, yeah sir. my account is logged since i tried too many times to log in due to password issue i have issue in logging in how to sort the, this you had to the login issue you have to check it out yourself sorry i cannot uh, help you in that particular matter because this login is done only through the google so uh, the google is going to take care of that thing not the swim platform so it means your password has been logged by the google uh, side might be so you please check it out uh, why what is happening there in that particular course okay uh, and uh, 
और यू कैन यू नो रीसेट योर पासवर्ड तो जो एक्टिविटी है वो डिस्कशन फोरम में रखना मैंडेटरी है नो दैट्स नॉट इू एक्टिविटी जो हमने दी है इट्स जस्ट फॉर लर्निंग आपका डाले नहीं डाले डजेंट मैटर बट यस अगर आप शेयर करना चाहें तो दैट विल बी वंडरफुल ठीक है डॉक्टर आरती एंड थैंक यू सो फॉर योर थैंक यू थैंक यू मोनिश यस प्लीज Eighteen, the nineteenth April is the last date for the examination. Please do see the announcement. And uh, announcement, we all things are clear. One one thing is 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 Sir, I am mm-hmm. trying to register for the exam, but I am unable to receive the OTP from NTA site on my Gmail account. I have tried multiple times from laptop as well as PC, and okay. at uh, uh, night as well as early morning, but I am unable to receive the OTP. Okay, okay. Uh, you just uh, send a copy uh, of that grievance to the NTA and a copy to me. I will try to connect with the authorities with the, that particular issue. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. We will get it resolved. Yes. Okay. Basically, okay. this particular exercise is done by the NTA. Uh, as such, my role is nothing there uh, except communicating your issues, your grievances to the authorities, and I will be doing that. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, so will you please share me the details of NTA site, like their email address? Yeah, please go to the NTA support. I think NTA support at the rate so I'm uh, is the uh, mentioned. If you go to the PDF of that particular uh, site. on the nta you will find that uh, email id i am not i am unable to recall that particular uh, email id but most probably it is there uh, let me if you see that on the nta website you will be finding that thing mm, let me okay. check it out hai na aap dekhiyega nahi to isko discussion forum mein dekhiyega other paper will help you out okay एक्चुअली क्या है मैं इस चीज को देख नहीं पाता हूँ बिकॉज आई एम नॉट एबल टू रजिस्टर फॉर द एग्जाम सो एक्चुअली आई डोंट आई डोंट नो व्हाट काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम यू आर फेसिंग सो वेन एवर यू विल बी लेटिंग मी नो आई विल बी ट्राइंग टू रिजॉल्व दैट इश्यू एज एज अर्ली एज पॉसिबल ओके डोंट वरी गुड आफ्टरनून सर या गुड आफ्टरनून माय सेल्फ कृष्णवेणी सर Uh, regarding study material what you have provided under each and every module video uh, mm-hmm. how to download or copy that into word uh, can you please give the procedure for that yeah it's just a pop up window is there you if and the top right of that particular window in arrow will be there uh, you just click that particular arrow it will be opened in that particular window and you can download it simply there's no issue theek hai and if you are unable uh, to get uh, it just go through the uh you know the very first week 0 uh, warm up activity okay. videos where where we have mentioned in a particular video how to download that particular task okay it's very but, very easy uh, just top right corner okay. that arrow click that arrow it will be opened up in another window and just go to the download you will be downloading it regarding okay. uh, week 1 and week 2 module uh, uh, graded test is this <laughs> i have performed and submitted but in the progress it is not showing progress it won't show it won't show up uh, until the 5th of may the score will be visible <laughs> only on the 5th of may sometime it shows that but you haven't done it but doesn't matter okay it will be there other weeks uh, it, it. it is showing sir might be there but there might uh, be some issue with that particular aspect okay. we will see don't worry uh, if you have okay. submitted it certainly it will be recorded in terms of scores okay Don't worry. Okay, sir. Sir, uh, can you give procedure for downloading hall ticket? Sorry, I have go registered to the NTA. for exam. Exam, yeah. yeah. Hall ticket is not generated yet. Now, uh, whenever it will okay. be uh, available for downloading, you all will be posted. The information will be uh, sent to you, and uh, even the NTA okay. will be sending the information to you. I think uh, a few days uh, earlier. I think uh, around fifteen or thirteen, fourteen. of may it will okay. be available most okay. probably okay yeah okay thank you sir thank you because at that time only the examination center will be decided uh, the, after the end date of that particular exam uh, examination registration the exam centers are allocated depending on the number in a particular uh, center and then the choices is given that's why the uh, the hall ticket is generated 
uh, just a uh, one week earlier uh, than the last date of uh, than the examination date. Okay, so can we create a ghost WhatsApp group so we can help uh, Ashish? I think you are missing that you that Telegram channel and Telegram group is already available there. It's not possible to create WhatsApp group for 13,000 learners. And uh, uh, if you have any query, you can also raise at the, uh, at the Facebook group academic writing in, in the form of messages, uh, not even in the form of post, but yes, in the form of message you can put even the Telegram group in the, your welcome email, uh, a Telegram Hi. channel link is also available. Please do uh, connect to that Telegram channel and we will be answering you. Don't worry. But WhatsApp group is not possible. What is to create. Okay. So what is the day of the examination, sir? It's mentioned, sir. 18th of May. 18th sir, of May, no? Excuse me, sir. Mm, I would yeah. like to 18th ask one of, question. Not, not 18th of April. Actually, the 19th of April is the last date for the exam decision. And 18th uh, May is the uh, day of examination. Okay. So it okay, is sir, only on the 18th. But uh, we are not told about the locations, sir. The centers and, and locations, location I would will like be, to know. The options you, you have been asked, you have filled the options there. You will be filling the options there at the time of uh, filling the examination form. Option one, option two, option three. When you will be downloading the examination form, you will be uh, seeing the whatever the examination center is allotted to you. Okay? Not so before sir, that. Sir, there is an examination center in Nasik also, sir? Don't know, ma'am. You just go to the NTA website, uh, and uh, most probably it should be available. Okay. You just go through the uh, the when you are entering into the examination portal, uh, you will be finding the options there, depending on the state, uh, and uh, you will be finding that thing. Don't worry. Okay, sir. But I don't remember. I would, actually, I would like to know everything. the options before I fill the money. So. I yes, don't know uh, if it is. If, if no, I think you will far. be asked. You will be asked the money before the. Uh, I think uh, before this uh, options will be asked first, and then the, at the last stage, the exciting examination uh, fee will be submitted. So what okay, will be the sir. timing for the examination, sir? Because on 18th, sir, it's very difficult for me. So already I have a meeting, sir, in my organization, yes. now, sir. What will be the timing, sir? I think it's nine to nine. I think nine to uh, like three nine hours. To like 12 like three to nine six. to twelve. Nine to twelve is there? Yeah, it's nine to twelve is there. Okay. So there are no papers, papers, right? Nine to twelve hmm. and three to six. Uh -huh. nine to twelve is the shift one is there, and it is fixed for academic writing course. Uh, so even if you are planning to go for the examination for more than one online course of the Swayam, please do ensure that that shift can can't be clashed. Wo clash ho nahi sakti. Ek shift mein aap ek hi exam de sakte hain, isn't it? So iska dhyan rakhega. Is it possible that uh, the examination will be on the 19th of May, sir? Yeah, uh, other examinations are also happening, but it is, you know, okay. the NTA does this exercise for Pan India. Okay, so it is not possible to cater individual requests. Sorry. Take it. So you can, if you are uh, really unable, you can come and uh, register for the examination for the next cycle. You can redo the course. But okay. the so examination is going to be there, there on 18th papers? of May only. Yeah, oh, one paper that we are supposed to attend. One? There, there's one paper that we are supposed to attempt or two papers. Like uh, the, 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 for, for a particular one, for a particular course, there will be one paper only. Academic writing, one paper only, 50 MCQs only. Okay. 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 So, yeah. If you are over with your uh, uh, discussion, please uh, uh, mute yourself. OK, uh, that should uh, be flawless for us to, for, to discuss the thing. Yeah. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Sir, the question, uh, like, mm. sir in our examination yeah, will uh, come from our course, but uh, or we are yeah, yeah. to follow anything else. 90% uh, it will be from the your course itself and 10% maybe from your general or common sense practices. Uh, with respect to the academic writing and publications. OK, say, for example, uh, you should be knowing that uh, that what are the, uh, you know, for SWAM adopting, adopting the SWAM courses, there are the 40 percent criteria, maximum 40 percent of credit can be transferred. OK, yeah, apart from SWAM, there is an entry of SWAM plus also there. So you should be uh, there in touch with the other things also what are happening there. 
uh, in the domain of academic writing or other related aspects. So, jada nahi hai, but you just if you have gone through the entire content, nothing is going to come out of the box. Okay. So actually, okay, there are okay, two sir. timings given for the papers: nine to twelve and three to six. So we we can choose either of the timing, right? No, sir? no, no, no. It's fixed. It's only shift one. Only shift okay. one for academic writing. For a particular okay. course, one particular shift is already fixed. Okay. Okay, sir. Sir, so please make it possible for the three to six, sir. Three to six, sir. Sir, it's not in my hand. I am just one of the course coordinator in the list of three more than five hundred or seven hundred course coordinators. Okay, of the five hundred plus or seven hundred courses. It's not in my hand. It is already fixed in the ministry level at the ministry level at the NTA level. I cannot change it. Sorry. Okay, it's not in my hand. Okay, please. Uh, Assignment report is compulsory in English language, or most probably, yes. Obviously, it should be there in the English only. Uh, it's very helpful. To communicate kindly. Create a Telegram group. Telegram group is already there. Monish Burger, you just check your uh, welcome email. The first email, our course came here, and announcement will be seen in one in previous announcements. Uh, if you go for the signature. हैप्पी लर्निंग के बाद टीम ए डब्ल्यू हम लिखते हैं उसके नीचे आपको शुरुआत के जो अनाउंसमेंट है यू विल फाइंड द टेलीग्राम चैनल लिंक आल्सो देयर आई थिंक मोर देन 1000 पीपल आर विद अस इन द टेलीग्राम चैनल एंड वी आर कंटीन्यूअसली हेल्पिंग ईच अदर ओके वी आर ऑलरेडी प्रैक्टिसिंग दिस थिंग पर्टिकुलर एस्पेक्ट एंड व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप यू नो दैट इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल टू क्रिएट फॉर दिस चूज नंबर ओके या या प्लीज और कोई क्वेरी हो तो बताएं हाउ कैन यू नो अबाउट द एग्जामिनेशन एग्जामिनेशनस या प्लीज बोलें सर एक्चुअली आई हैव कंप्लीटेड ओनली टिल द जर्नल मैट्रिक्स वीक फोर ओके आफ्टर दैट एक्चुअली आई वाज क्वाइट बिजी इन द माय बिजनेस शेड्यूल बट आई हैव आई एम जस्ट कंटिन्यूइंग दैट वन नाउ एंड जस्ट सीन यस्टरडेज नाइट दैट यूनिट वाइज प्रोग्रेस ओके सो there is only uh, that shows uh, very little progress uh, in particularly week 1 and week 2 uh, approximately 25 uh, 26% here is showing uh, apart from this uh, uh, plagiarism and journal matrix it shows the 81% but uh, I, as per my uh, knowledge i have completed all the things that uh, uh, small assignments and all these things doesn't so matter sir uh, uh, it is showing problem may be there it is a glitch may be there on the part of that platform there so if you are submitting the assignment weekly assignment just assure this particular aspect uh, to complete the uh, the course and to be eligible for the certification you should just go to the uh, weekly content and don't bother about the progress whatever in the progress bar it is showing and if you are submitting the weekly graded assignment then your work is done no issue okay and it's uh, no, i have submitted all the assignments and mm -hmm. all the tasks that you give to me already attend already attended your classes but sir on 18th of may sir it's impossible for me to uh, appear in the examination sir because already i have some meetings in my organization sir so sir is it possible to get the certificate sir on the basis of the assignment no. i already submitted no. sir no 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 no, no, no. at the swayam platform it is the prerequisite that you must qualify Uh, the minimum 40% in internal as well as minimum 40% in external then put together 70% weightage of external exam and 30% weightage of internal exam are put together to okay. generate a certificate okay this is the you know protocol for the swam certification on 18th of april only the examination is yeah, on 18th of april examination is on may. the 18th of may sir examination is uh, only in the first shift sir yeah only in the shift one For other courses, Not, it may be in the other shift also. मतलब in uh, one particular course will be on one particular date and one particular shift only for yeah, all the same courses. Okay. Hmm. And then what we yeah. can do, sir? Uh, you should redo the course on the next cycle when when you are available. Okay. Sorry, I can't help you in that particular matter, but don't worry. The when the examination when the course will run again, you can re-enroll and redo the course at that particular time. and maybe if for some reasons if if you are lucky enough sometime it happens that the you know dates are postponed due to some reasons in that in that case you may get the benefit in that particular 
case. Okay. So what for that you have sir? to take the chance. For that you have okay. to take the chance and register for the exam. Okay. Okay. Okay, right. sir. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you, sir. You. Okay. Is me may help nahi kar paunga because it's not in my hand. Please do understand. Okay. Yeah. Fifth of May is the last date for the. Fifth of May is the last date. Do do you require the extension still? It is the uh, quite farther than the end date of the course. Okay. Amara 13 week chal raha hai. Uske baad keval do week rehta hai. 14, 15. Uske baujud bhi we have given fifth fifth of May. 18 May ko to main exam hai. Usse pehle to humko we have to finish uh, the all the scorings. So scoring, so there will be no extension, not at all. Fifth of May ke baad ko extension nahi hoga kisi date mein. So please do complete. All the weekly assignment by 5th of May. Okay. Uh, uh, or at least you have 50% that to ki ji na. Come second by Pandra hai to Pandra mein saat, aat, no, das to aap kum ke kar ke rakhi All the weekly assignment. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thikhe Tapas ji. Tapas Pradhan. Thank you for helping. Uh, the your fellow learner for uh, time span for exam is generally three hours but yes after one and a half hour you can uh, leave the examination all uh, telegram link we have already given there uh, and uh, yes thank you maruti for sharing the telegram link uh swam at the rate nta.ac.in is the uh, balaji thank you uh for the for sharing that uh, email id and uh yes 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 how many CAs are there in this course? I have completed only two uh, assignments. Yeah, weekly assignment for one, every week, one assignment is there. So in total, there will be 15 weekly assignments and two subjective assignments. Subject assignment, you can take just one. Uh, one uh, will be sufficient if you are going for the subject assignment. So thank you for the. So Prapti is saying that thank you for the clarification about the data general and the JCK. Uh, Getting our paper published so that in the case of trying for group one list in the fine or should we uh, should be look for some other general not studied scopus UG case. Take it choice is yours. Uh, there's uh, little apprehension about whether in the review paper written by us will get published in the group. As a group two scopus may be kai journals as a hai. Jo who's a tag you have suruat may come time late rather. Uh, किसी ग्रुप 1 जर्नल में छापने के अगर आप ग्रुप 2 जर्नल में देखें जो कि नए हैं और इंडेक्स हैं तो इट वुड बी आई आई स्ट्रांगली बिलीव दैट यू शुड गो टू द ग्रुप 2 लर्नर रेस्ट चॉइस इज योर्स इफ यू वांट टू गो फॉर द ग्रुप 1 इट्स योर चॉइस एंड ऐसा नहीं है कि ग्रुप 1 आर ऑल जर्नल्स आर नॉट अप टू द स्टैंडर्ड ओके सो व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ डिसर्टेशन एंड सोशल आउटरीच प्रोग्राम्स या दिस इज अ कंप्लीट दैट ए सोशल आउटरीच प्रोग्राम is generally a societal connect with the field study kind of program and dissertation is obviously a when you are documenting the thing even a social outreach program can be uh, can be presented in the form of dissertation so this there are two entirely different things okay it's just kind of uh, whether you are keeping in writing or not uh, it depends on that okay and uh, uh, i'm a phd student shantilal ji uh, i want to know that how this course help in the PhD course in the form of credit marks or yeah in various universities have adopted our course uh, academic writing course for their pre PhD or for the extra credit uh, getting the extra uh, credits. I think more than 70 universities have already adopted our course for their pre PhD and PGs for extra credits. It depends on the universities whether they have adopted it officially or not by passing it in their academic council or uh, you know executive council but anyhow if you do this course i believe that you will be able to get the basics of or the foundation of you will prepare the foundation of your article writing or the thesis writing aspect which you won't be learning from anywhere else and this is the sole platform which is going to give you the comprehensive knowledge about your thesis writing, literature review, plagiarism, you know, thesis uh, review writing, research writing, and all the aspects. I don't think so. Any other platform is there from where you will get uh, all these things in one single platform. Okay. Uh, but just practice it. Whatever you learn, you won't be able to get the success 
uh, in the form of publishing the journal. And whenever you get the publication, please do remember us in the acknowledgement section by acknowledging our course uh, in the acknowledgement section. This is my humble or sincere request to all of you. Uh, the last day, fifth May is the last date. There is no extension. So sorry, I have already discussed that extension. Uh, all have. Fifth of May is the last date. Wo hai. Baki paas study ke liye time hai. Pura time hai aapke paas. Okay. Uh, we've discussed uh, numerous topics. The written exam consists of 50 multiple questions. Will the question be organized according to the units? So the most probably uh, most of the time it is covering almost all the units. Uh, and uh, hardly any unit gets untouched when we are uh, asking the questions in the examination. Okay. Balaji, I think you have got your answer. After examination, when we'll get the certificate? It After the examination, it takes around uh, one month in declaring the result, up to one month. And by the next one month, I think most probably uh, within 60 days of your examination, you will be getting your uh, certificate. And for because this is the task of National Coordinator and NTA, again, my role is not there. I can just take your queries to the authorities. Okay. So you just have to keep the patience okay. after the examination. Okay. okay? Uh, so there will be 50 MCQs and uh, mm -hmm. leaving that, is, is there, there going to be any theoretical question? No, 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 no theoretical question is going to be there. Uh, just you have to click and uh, at the computer and uh, you, the question will be there, answer will be there. You will be clicking the right answer. And okay. I have given you a particular a mock test you can do for nta.ac.in uh, forward slash quiz. I'm putting okay. the link into the uh, thing that mock test you can uh, give at the NTA website by selecting the SOEM course, then academic writing course, a sample paper will be there, uh, which you can attempt. So it will be giving you the idea that uh, how it will feel when you will be giving the uh, examination at your examination center. Okay, okay. thank you, sir. Thank okay. you, sir. Yeah. So, photograph issue, I'm taking a summary. Uh, that uh, please do write to the NT at the NT that uh, NT at the rate so I'm dot jv dot in. Uh, okay, sir. Yeah. In my university, it's a PhD positions, uh, PhD examination center is already, examination is already over. There's a photo for issues the also is there with me, sir. Pardon? Photo issues also is there with me, sir. Ah, they, we will see it. Uh, I will, uh, you know, Ask the authorities to resolve it if there is there is uh, some problem, so they will address it. So please do write the email and copy to me. I will, you know, forward your request to the authorities at my level. Okay. Uh, yeah, for my university in university, the PhD entrance exam is already over, and I think the result is going to come in a few days. And the next time, I think it is going to come in the next year. Okay. So. However, if you want to give the examination at the CUT level, I think they, it's going to be there in the form of uh, different aspects. Yeah. Any other queries? I think I have attended all the queries in the chat box. Uh, Telegram link have already been shared by Maruti. Thank you, Maruti. Uh, and uh, yeah. So friends, these aapko antique website mein sample paper bhi milega. Mock test aap kar sakte hain. That you can do. And uh, see this particular week, Professor Rajat Akhwal is addressing the aspects of empirical studies for humanities management, how you do the things, okay? Various aspects will be covered and uh, uh, it is the very rare opportunity you are getting in the form of this discussion by Professor Rajat Agrawal, and we are trying that uh, maybe if we can get the opportunity to connect with Professor Rajat Agrawal in some time uh, in our uh, you know live interactive session. Uh, we have also with us uh, Dr. Mukesh Pandey, uh, the, who is the teaching assistant with us in our course uh, academic writing, uh, and uh, our he is continuously. You know, giving the assistance in the form of uh, uh, addressing your queries in the discussion forum. We are discussing the, we are discussing your queries, and then uh, we answer your queries at the discussion forum uh, with the help of Dr. Mukesh Pandey. And, uh, and I hope I'll be I'll be inviting some of uh, some more experts there. Most probably, 
uh, some experts from academic writing field uh, of different different fields will try to invite so that we can have discussion at the time i thought that uh, because the most of the queries are related to the examination uh, we'll be keeping our focus onto the examination registration and friends whatever we are covering in the course this is a very fundamental kind of thing. I think many of the faculty members or the researchers who are well acquainted with the basics might be finding this particular thing in a very, you know, basic one. Obviously, it is the basic one because we started with the theme that everyone must have the basic knowledge of going through the academic writing uh, scenario. Once you have got the basics, you will be able uh, to deduce the advanced things to grab the advanced knowledge from the required resources. At least you should know the way ahead. So this is course aims to explore the way, to show you the way, and then you will explore yourself that what kind of journal you should choose, how you should choose, we are here to help you. But what should be chosen, you will choose. So that's why this course is all about, as I mentioned in the introductory video, that its implementation is the, the, we have given the foundation one, the implementation depends on you. So you have to implement, if you are not implementing or learning or practice, if you're not practicing the use of literature management tools, Mendeley, Zotero, Obviously, you'll be finding the problem. So until we practice, we are not going to have the expertise or we are not going to save the time or the effort in writing the manuscript, writing the thesis and all various aspects. Or quick query, so you are most welcome. Uh, no, it doesn't matter, Dr. Kamini. You can, uh, I think we, I have already mentioned that the last date is 5th of May and the MOOC is meant for this thing also that at your convenience you can go through the content doesn't matter uh, weekly releasing is just a pattern uh, and uh, so don't worry about that even if you are joined late and you have joined uh, started late re uh, referring the content doesn't matter at your convenience complete the course do the assignments and go for registration of the examination up to 19th of April and appear for the final examination you will get your certificate if you pass if you score 40 percent minimum in the internal and 40 percent minimum in the external if, even if you have not scored if you have scored say for example 80 percent in the external but you haven't scored uh, 40 percent in the internal you won't be getting the certificate and vice versa please do have a clarity in your mind okay uh, I have done the plagiarism assignment. I, can I still do it since the last? The, the, you, you can do that, but you cannot upload it. Okay, Janisha, this is just for practice. You can go, if you have skipped that first assignment, doesn't matter. You go for the second subjective assignment uh, in which you have to do a course, uh, which we have given the free course with certification, and that will also add the value to your CV. Okay. Both subjective assignments are not compulsory. I have already mentioned, please do see the instructions go through the instruction very care very carefully we have already mentioned that only one subject assignment uh, is mandatory however we give the freedom to choose you okay to choose any one of them uh, anything else or quick query to your most welcome and uh, you know when we are calling about talking about the empirical studies as the professor rajat agrawal says in the words of professor rajat agrawal Whatever the innovation or whatever the new work you want to do, it should be uh, with the pain, wave, and waste. It means that identify the pain related to the society, related to the process, related to the, your subject area. And that is called problem definition. Then go for the wave. What is the trend going on? And when the trend is there, you just follow that particular trend of that particular research, then innovation will be more applicable. 
and the third thing is waste waste means focus on the waste minimization of waste zero waste waste recycling it may be the reducing the or uh, or saving the wastage with respect to the man machine or uh, power labor energy whatever you can save what whatever the wastage you can uh, you can check you should work either it is in the form uh, with respect to the wet lab or you, it is respect to the empirical studies so whatever we are deciding the the three factors must be kept in mind pain wave and waste you should work in these three themes or any one of them so that you can have the innovation and the societal connect in your research work and that is the utmost important aspect okay yes anything else uh, and it happens many times that uh, sometimes uh, ja aap jaldbazi mein aur ye dhyan rakhiyega uh, in the second subject assignment we have given only one single chance to upload a particular file on all other assignment we have given multiple times you can attempt it or you can go for that but in the second subject assignment because you are almost at the end of the course so you should be vigilant whatever you are uploading the uh, wrong file if you have uploaded any wrong file you will be given only that single chance if you have uploaded wrong file in the subject assignment you are you will be scored zero okay and there will be no excuse and no communication will be entertained in that particular uh, matter ye dhyan rakhiyega theek hai don't worry uh, samriddhi there are lot many people who have already done the exam registration just keep trying and it will be resolved and even if it is not resolved in one or two days please do let me know i will take it up uh, take the issue with the authorities for the uh, resolution okay uh, anything else anything else uh, mukesh if you can see uh, uh, which is unattended till now i can now complete an assignment shall i complete uh, now and can apply for exam या यू कैन डू दैट डोंट वरी आप आपने असाइनमेंट अगर नहीं भी किए हैं एस वी रामन रामन इफ यू हैवेंट अटेम्प्टेड इवन यू कैन गो फॉर द रजिस्ट्रेशन डज मैटर बट जस्ट डोंट फॉर गेट टू यू नो अटेम्प्ट क्विजेस फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर अप टू द लास्ट डेट ओके तो डज मैटर आप कर सकते हैं इस समय भी यू यू आर फ्री एंड देर इज नो इशू यू मैं वी कैन कवर थियोरिटिकल aspects with well understanding but when come to practical aspect it seems hard to me i do not uh, as other phase it doesn't matter tapas just keep doing uh, practice practice karte rahiye when you are writing the things uh, day by day you will you know you know sharpen your skills in writing there are tools which are available for assisting you take the help of those uh, tools like grammarly and other tools even the ai tools bots can also be of help provided you are giving just them the inputs and uh, whatever the inputs are there you are reframing them and writing in your own words don't just be dependent on the ai chatbots and other things as i earlier mentioned in the last discussion also that sometime they create the hypothetical references so never ever rely on the ai uh, written content and i would like to tell you that even after the acceptance of the manuscript the manuscript is checked by the publisher by the ai created content for the ai created content they have the you know exhaustive check up for the ai created content so ai created content uh, are if the content are ai created your manuscript will be rejected so don't depend be dependent on the ai uh, chatbots and other things okay और कोई चीज ओके सर थैंक यू थैंक यू देखिए बहुत सारी चीजें हैं अवेलेबल दे आर मेरी शॉर्टकट्स आर अवेलेबल मैनी थिंग्स आर अवेलेबल इवन आई डोंट वांट टू नेम दो थिंग्स विच आर वेरी मच गिविंग यू ए वेरी easy life इन योर राइटिंग वर्क ऑन मैनिस्क्रिप्ट राइटिंग वर्क ऑर दीस इज राइटिंग वर्क बट यस यू इज यू लर्न दी टेक्निक्स यूज them as an assistive tool not as the sole thing that the, you are putting the title and you are telling the ai chatbot to write a 
2000 word article on that particular aspect and it is written no it can be written but whatever it may it might be the chances that you will be getting the hypothetical references hypothetical data hypothetical statements and uh, this chat box had a limited you know uh, with respect to the scientific communication if i'm talking and with respect to the information based on the facts and figures or the scientifically things they are not foolproof and you must not rely this is against the ethics okay और कोई बात जो हमसे रह गई हो प्लीज डू लेट मी नो या आई थिंक यू ऑल आर एंजॉइंग द कोर्स एंड द दिस मीटिंग इज आल्सो बीइंग रिकॉर्डेड फॉर दोज हु आर अनएबल टू अटेंड दिस मीटिंग विल बी एंजॉइंग दिस वीडियो व्हेन विल बी एडिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो इन द YouTube एंड दैट लिंक विल बी शेयर्ड इन द कोर्स and uh, other previous recording someone was asking in a different unit we have already mentioned uh, before the uh, assignment uh, about the assignment one uh, or quizzes unit you will be finding this particular webinar recording only for reference that all the previous recording some of the recordings which are not repetitive one have been there uh, for your reference so if you have any query related to that particular aspect go there enjoy that particular video and some of the questions you will be getting so you will be finding the answers of for you you know i would like to add one more thing that when you are finalizing a particular uh, journal for your manuscript especially uh, if i talk about the springer nature uh, a wonderful platform of manuscript submission is there very easy one they just uh, ask you to upload a single word file and they extract all the things even the author list abstract and uh, you know title and other thing they automatically take the thing their system are day by day they are becoming very advanced one for the manuscript submission and uh, one more thing i would like to add that yes uh, there are hybrid journals which provide open access as well as the subscription based models so if you don't want to most of the time we are not having money to afford the open access uh, journal fee so just go for the hybrid model and uh, the carefully selected select that particular journal and as i earlier mentioned in the last meeting also i'm going to share a feedback kind of i think uh, form i'm going to create in which we will be sharing uh, all you are requested to share your preference of journal reputed journal which are who which is minimum which is in uh, well indexed journal and having the impact factor may or may not have the impact factor so subject wise we will be collecting this data and it will be helpful for uh, various new learners okay jo hamare jo naye budding researchers hai unke liye they, it will be very much helpful that yes we are going to work on that particular uh, screening part on the journal so most of the time every research work have a different kind of requirement when we are talking about uh, you know manuscript submission but yes we must have a i often ask to my students uh, scholars that yes always prepare a master journal list which is suitable to your work okay we must have a idea this particular journal is there this is the isisn this is the time required in general uh, time it takes and uh, what kind of uh, whether it is charging or not obviously we are not going to uh, mark the journal which is taking any kind of charge so obviously depending upon our requirement depending on indexing or impact factor information will be there so you can have your own master journal list just focus the researchers who are working on the similar field and see where they are Uh, publishing their work just by going through their accepted on revised on or kind of date sheet or chronology we can have an idea and uh, sometimes it is also there in the if it is available full text or even sometimes it is available in the you know journal abstract with abstract the information is available so we must have a kind of you know master journal list kind of thing for you not clarivate mjl for you, you you must have your own favorites i would like to add okay
uh, so we will learn in this week with Pro Professor Rajat Agrawal the empirical research fundamentals. We are going to learn. So thank you for being with us. Uh, it has been a wonderful interactive session. And thank you, Dr. Mukesh Pandey, for being with us uh, with uh, Team AW. And um, we'll be uh, again the same link will be there next week if we will be available. Uh, the information will be, I think, say on 14th. If we'll be available, the surely we'll be coming back on 2 to 3 p.m. at 7th uh, on the next Sunday for the live interactive session and most probably with an expert with us on the on academic writing so thank you thank you thank you all and please 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 do register and if you have any problem please do uh, copy your grievance when you are writing to the nta copy the email to me i will address this or i will take your uh, problem with the authorities so thank you for being with us in our academic writing course thanks a lot and uh, well, it's a humble request to you sir it's a yeah, humble request please. to you please uh, uh, arrange the session of uh, examination on 18th of May from 3 to 6 also, sir. So, so that's not possible. Students... It's not possible, Babaji. Uh, it is decided by the ministry and the at the uh -huh. NTA level. And there are, I have, as I told you, there are hundreds and, and are, I think more, and more, more than 500 courses are there which are being scheduled. So they have been very carefully mm -hmm. scheduled. One day, one schedule already. So they cannot intermingle now, especially before that. Sorry for that in that particular aspect. And even I am not authorized to write to change the things in that particular way. Okay. This is not that possible. That depends on the number of registrations of examination answer because I already see it on the mail now that if the number of registration of the students are more than uh, they arrange the examination in two shifts, sir. No, 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 no. Maybe there, but it's not it's not happening there. In in a one particular center is there, na? For a particular okay. center, there will be on a particular course there will be a limited number of students. Obviously, uh, in general, the academic writing more than one thousand uh, learners, uh, minimum one thousand learner enroll for the uh, exam registration. So there is no issue. So mm -hmm. I do, it it has not never happened that uh, a particular uh, for particular course dub, double shift are there or uh, shift is changed. It's not uh, okay. usual. So it's not possible, Vaibhavji. I don't want to give you some false uh, promises. Uh, technically, I'm telling that. that it's not possible. Thank you. Sorry for that. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Can you please repeat once again uh, the exam date, final exam date? Once again, only for the final exam date. 18th May. It's on the landing page itself. You can landing page the course. Ka? उस लैंडिंग पेज में बहुत शुरुआत से ही लिखा हुआ है एनरोलमेंट से 18th ऑफ मे स्टेज व दैट इज शिफ्ट 1 ओके एंड व्हेन यू विल बी गोइंग टू द एग्जाम रजिस्ट्रेशन साइट यू विल बी फाइंडिंग दैट फॉर द सेम ओके 18th ऑफ मे है ना थैंक यू 18th ऑफ मे इंफॉर्मेशन बुलेटिन आया हुआ है उसमें सारा मेंशनड है या इंफॉर्मेशन बुलेटिन इज अवेलेबल देयर एट द एनटी वेबसाइट ऑल द सेंटर्स ऑल द इंफॉर्मेशन आर अवेलेबल देयर प्लीज डू रेफर दैट सो थैंक यू आई एम गोइंग टू एंड दिस मीटिंग थैंक्स अ लॉट and uh, uh, happy learning and do enjoy the course content thank you bye bye